Welcome to Boost Masters Bungalow. So this is my new home and I couldn't be more excited. So you read the title right, I am now a property owner. It's actually a co-ownership with my brother. See, I would not have been able to get this on my own. It's 10 acres of land and has a lot of variety. Smooth, loamy forest floors, hills and plateaus, a creek, big cliff sides, big rocks and boulder fields. We are gonna be having a lot of fun out here in the coming years, building all sorts of bike features, trails, jumps, Honestly, there's so much potential out here and a blank canvas to work with. This is going to be epic. For quite some time, I was living at my parents' house, which was actually the home of the original Boostmasters bungalow. A set of four dirt jumps in a row with a smaller and bigger option. I put countless hours into perfecting those jumps. They were in their prime at around 2012. And I had so much fun on them, and so did many others. I actually opened this place up for anybody who wanted to come out. I was able to keep it quite open like that, even though it was my parents' private property. However, this time around, I cannot open this place up to the public. This is my private property for me and my brother's family. I'm sure you guys can understand. I did a lot of filming on my jumps over the years too. But one of the problems with this location is that since it was out in the open, it would get dried out and overgrown quite easily. They required way too much maintenance, and with me getting more into free ride and downhill, I let nature take them back in 2014. Otherwise, I was living in a basement suite for a bit, but it was always a dream of mine to have my own property, and especially with land that would work well for building my own trails and jumps. It turns out that dream has come true sooner than I was expecting. My brother was the one who found this property in early 2021. He called me up and asked if I wanted to join in on this property. We looked at the place and we both really liked what we saw. And I would have free reign to build all sorts of mountain bike trails and features. Now, my brother is married and has his own family and eventually they'll move on to this property, but after a lot of renovations and additions are made to the house. So for the time being, I'm just living here by myself. Now, as for the house, let's just say it's a fixer-upper. It's gonna need some renovations. Okay, jokes aside, the house is actually fairly old, around 1960. It is gonna go through a lot of renovations eventually. But for myself, we will be building a whole suite for me and lots of garage space for all my bikes and tools. So I'm gonna have a pretty awesome workshop and bike storage, better than this. Something you guys may know about me is I love huge trees. And this property has some pretty big ones. Most of this property looks very much like a forest which makes it a prime location for building mountain bike trails and features. So I've been showing my friends the property and we've been putting ideas in place as to what we're gonna build here. So right by the house, we have this nice hill where you can build just about anything from tame greens, a pump track, to big double black drops and jumps if I want. My brother does have four kids, so they will be enjoying the fruits of my labor as well. So I'll make sure that they have fun stuff to ride. I'd cleared away some lines where it's just a matter of building up some features like berms and jumps on them. So the cool thing is, as you get further away from the house, it also gets more gnarly. Yeah, I like that little like rock sticking out of the edge, over the edge. Oh yeah. Yeah. You have a, you have like a whole run in. Oh right yeah, there, huge run in. Like, or even over there. And then you just pedal as hard as you can. And if you build it right. Launch it. Like I'm talking about like a lip and you're landing there. Yeah, actually, that that could work. No, it will it will work. Like, what could we do with these rocks, huh? All of the things. All of the things. All oh. land in here and ride out. Like, there's, yeah. there's so many options. Yeah, more big cliffs, massive rocks everywhere. Some of my favorite features on this property come further away. This is where we get into some of these boulder fields. All the rocks are covered in moss and ferns, so it's harder to see what we're really looking at. But imagine if we could build something with this. How insane would that be? Just all, just pure rock, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even if you could just, like, connect these with ladders. Like yeah. 
Nearing the end of this place, we have a gigantic ravine, which kind of looks like a Narnia 2.0. Yeah, look what? at this. What? Wow. What the heck? That looks insane. That is big and epic. That is... Oh my. You could see a lot more in the springtime when I was first seeing this and as things get grown in in the summertime it is harder to see what exactly you're working with so the fall, winter and spring will be prime time for building out here. This is crazy. What? I just love seeing this like big boulders. I will also be making some local friends out here. There are a lot of creatures and wildlife around. There's deer especially in the summertime. There are some owls around. I even caught a bobcat once on my security camera, and a skunk as well. Of course there's raccoons around, and of course there are coyotes, which I haven't seen, but I've definitely heard them at nighttime. But there is something even bigger that likes to walk through our property. According to the previous tenants, there is a family of bears that could be seen walking through here from time to time. The bears might have walked through here. It just looks like some more fresh trampling. For the longest time I've never seen any of them, but I did find their footprints. Until one day when I was filming for a thumbnail and I heard something in the distance. The bears. The bears are there. I see the bears. It was actually just one bear and I'm pretty sure it was the biggest one, the father bear. What the heck? I was almost a bit surprised how big it was. Some of those footprints were making sense now. So you know we're going to be building a lot of awesome stuff out here. Tons of jumps, drops, stunts of all kinds, incorporating the big rocks. I want to build ladder bridge features. I want to build a nice set of dirt jumps again. I've always enjoyed that and I kind of want to get back into it again. I want to build lots of unique and creative features. Since this is my private property, this is the best place to do it. Now this is another really cool little area that I want to see if I can make some lines down. You see all these vines? While they look beautiful, they are an invasive species and they're going to end up killing the trees that they're wrapped around. So it might be a good idea to cut some of these off. But also what I want to see is what's underneath all these vines. Basically it's all rock. And if I'm going to see if there's any line options here, first we're going to have to uncover these rocks and see what we can do with them. Well, in my opinion, that looks pretty sick. I definitely want to find a way to incorporate that into a line. Now, as you go farther away from the house, you cross the creek, you got this quadding track that goes in a whole loop, and we've definitely had some trees fall during the past year, which just makes for more wood to build with. Let's take a look here what tree fell down here. So it was this one right here. I don't actually know what happened, what made it fall, but if you look at the trunk here, half of it kind of looks rotted out here. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I'm actually quite happy that this one uh, fell down because, see that rock right there? It looks really fun to, to ride down that rock and make a line out of it. The problem is it runs right into this tree. Now we can get rid of that tree, because it's dead anyways, and uh, we can make a cool line. Above this rock though, we've got more big rocks, lots of cool steep stuff over there where we can come down this way and make our way through these rocks ride down this steep rock and out maybe onto like a log ride i don't know there's lots of potential you can really do so much out here so i got my work cut out for me there is quite a bit of rock to work with which i think is really fun i love rock slabs and i just love making use of big rocks as trail features this marks a new chapter both in my life and also for my youtube channel obviously having my own property like this is going to be amazing for content creation as we have seen with some of my other friends in the YouTube world. So where will my channel be taken next? I don't know about you, but I look forward to finding out.
So I have been living here since last May, so that's why I was able to get so much cool footage and I've been able to see the seasons changing. I really do feel very blessed to have this place. It's definitely a gift. I've also been meaning to show you guys this place sooner, but because I didn't get around to building anything on it yet for a while until just recently, I figured I didn't have much to show you guys. Last November, we had record-breaking amounts of rain and crazy flooding happening in the Fraser Valley of BC. The heavy rains at my place did create a bit of a rock slide back at that ravine. All the rock used to be covered in green moss and ferns. And as you can see, a lot of rock has fallen down, even exposing some roots from the trees that were covered before. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? So one of the plans is to actually have a trail that is fitting for my 12 inch travel boost monster bike. And nature may have just given me one. So this is definitely something I'm eyeing up and uh, curious to see what the potential is here. Guys, what do you think? Could this actually be my boost monster trail? Riding down a really steep ravine, all rock. How cool would that be? This is looking straight across. <sighs> Bigger rocks that seem to have really kind of cemented their place down that I don't think will be moving. Like some of these rocks are pretty sturdy. Just get rid of some of these smaller ones on top. This winter I finally started to do some building on the property. And in my next video, I'm gonna show you what we've made. Otherwise, this year, we're gonna make a lot of the same content that you're used to, riding, free riding, bike parks, but we're gonna be adding more trail building content, particularly here on my own property. I've also been building more on a new trail at our local mountain, so that's another whole project to show you guys. And we'll also be playing more with my Boost Monster bike and some old school setups once in a while. I hope you guys are stoked for this year because I'm super excited for what we're gonna do. Big shout out to my patrons for being amazing supporters of my channel. If you pledge monthly over there, you'll get some perks like bonus content, extended cuts, early videos, awesome stuff like that. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you guys next time.